This conference will now be recorded. Hey there, guys. Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> your people. Susan, can you hear me? I can hear Don, but I can't hear you guys. I heard that. I heard that was Melissa.
Susan, can you hear me? I can hear you, Don, but I can't hear them. Let me just. Uh, Hello. Ah, who said that? It's, I hear it's Justin. Hi, Justin. Justin. Now I can hear you. Oh, you can hear us? I can. I couldn't right. before. I can't over Melissa's, but I can over yours. Okay, all cool. right. So we're going to. All right. We're going to. So everybody can hear us, right? Don, can you hear us? Don. Can you hear us? Yep. We're okay. experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Yeah, sorry. All right, now we're in we're in uh, we're in Panavision over here. So I don't know where to <laughs> talk to. I'm just going to talk this way. Um, uh, and Justin will talk into his own machine. Um, so we're going through town administrator items right now. We're going to be uh, tabling items A and B. Um, a for uh, for more information. Uh, B because. Uh, uh, the attorney for this uh, uh, inter-municipal agreement is adding some things, um, but I've just been told there are approximately eight resumes uh, for the uh, HR director position. So it sounds like there's some folks out there who are going to have a, a choice. Uh, Ma Steve, Madam, you, order, order. Yeah. Steve, who, who is it? Is, is it just you and Justin? Yes, or is John sorry, on this meeting? You're all muted. Uh, John Weigold is not is not in attendance. He sent an email to, um, uh, I guess, to Justin because I I could find it on my phone. But anyway, saying that something came up and he cannot make it. Um, I sent. Just thank you. I don't want to get accused of no, no. open meeting or no, anything. Okay. Steve White, Steve at myma.gov. Right. So I don't know why it's not. So he sent a letter to the two other or email the two other board members that oh here it is okay at 528 all right that's fine no problem so um so he's not going to be joining us um so let's let's continue um item number one c uh, earth removal permit application we approve it we approve it every year um, it is has the has the amount. Um, okay, so I move that we approve the earth removal permit for uh, Tron construction. Second. Second. Um, uh, all in favor? I say yes. 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 Uh, 1D, um, FY20 audit. Is this, is this the, the audit from Scanlon? Okay, so these, this, this is part of our this is part of our yearly audit. No. One of the best. Yes. yes. One of the better things that that we've done here is change it every three years to every year. And uh, this is the second year or third year with a nice clean with a clean audit. No. Completely clean. Which take took a long time getting there. So they're will so they're willing uh, to forego the thousand dollar payment because of
Um, Beth, could you repeat me? What, what Melissa said? Because I, I couldn't, it's not audible. Yeah. I can't hear her either. Should we turn that the fan off? Well, we're going to turn on the fan, see if, uh, see if that helps. Or maybe this is going to help a little bit more. So Monterey hit the $750,000 threshold, which requires a single audit to be done in addition to our yearly audit, which costs $1,000. We hadn't budgeted for that. I spoke to Tom Scanlon from our auditors, as well as Alice from Bailey Boyd and Associates. And Alice offered to pay the $1,000 because Monterey and myself in particular have been great to work with, and they don't want to this to inhibit the town's interest in CDBG funding, but I didn't want to accept her gracious offer without checking with the board first. I think that's significant. Um, some people did agree to uh, participate in the new program, so I think it's perfect. So I would, um, I'd shout, uh, do I need to make a motion to accept that generous um, offer? I think make a motion, John. I, yeah, it sounds free money. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So, good. so, so we vote unanimously um, to accept that. Yes, and please thank her on behalf of Monterey. Melissa, we can't hear you. So I followed up with town council on seeking restitution through the attorney general's office. I don't the attorney general, sorry. The, the DA's the, office on the bomb situation that had happened on West Road last year. Um, the DA's office has not responded. Jeremiah asked me to find out from the board if you want him to follow up in small claims court. What is the what is the possibility? An individual that I mean, it's my understanding that it that it I mean, that it is. I mean, we can certainly. Um, Will there there be an expense involved in, in in yeah so um so I'm assuming an expense involved in actually going to get it um uh, I uh, uh I I think it's I I think I I think personally I think it's a it's kind of a blind alley because I don't think we're going to actually be able to obtain those those funds um is there any other avenue that we can uh, that we can receive reimbursement because this is a uh, a, because not it wasn't only a local police department, but it was also um, a government operation, wasn't it? And you had some ATF and they'd be responsible for asking for their own restitution. We 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 went to the DA's office, which is where you'd think where the charges are being filed. Can uh, you know what? Can, can we ask yeah. Jeremiah how much it will cost to to uh, um, uh, so that we can make an, an informed decision? Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, um, I agree. Um, uh, Green community is just to let you know, <laughs> we, we are batting a thousand on this one. The company that was doing all of the audits for us for the energy audits, um, the guy quit and they don't have our reports. So we have to start all over again. And I have a new company coming um in september due to vacations with with them, them with the company the new company um it's okay though we have we have time to get it all done and i've been promised that this time we still have a lot <coughs> yeah, these outside companies need to provide the energy audit so that we can come up with a plan to reduce our energy consumption and you just quit um yeah i just wanted to know um, you said Something about small claims court for the West Road um, restitution. 
How much money are we talking about that it would be small claims court? Uh, for that we're seeking restitution for about six thousand. Okay. So we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a small claims court. Uh, Thanks. Pursue that, and we'll we can make a decision whether or not it's worth it. Um, the next item is the county update. I, I just received today um, a contract with Eric Kinsher because of Pioneer Valley Planning Commission isn't going to be doing it anymore since they didn't get any bids. I will forward that to you guys tomorrow. Um, item I is a certificate of achievement. Same price. The same price. Okay. Um, the police department has asked that you guys acknowledge uh, Sean Courtney's time here in Monterey. He has left for greener pastures. I can't think of any greener pastures than Monterey. Um, but uh, he did a great job when he was here. So I have no problem signing that. And we certainly wish him well. Right, and the last item is the Great Barrington <laughs> lack of I sent that ah. to the city as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so this is this is uh, we basically are releasing lockup space because we don't have a jail here in Monterey, um, uh, and uh, um, and the per diem basis is one hundred and fifty dollars per prisoner. So uh, hopefully we're not going to have to spend too much on that. So that sounds good. Do you, I, I yeah. make a motion to approve it? Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Actually, not a bad price. Yeah, no, actually, <laughs> uh, actually, the chief renegotiated this a couple of years ago. We were actually paying more. Yeah, we were paying a flat fee. It was like $600 or something like no. that. Was it? Was it yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is this is good. All right, so then the next two, three, and four are all um, appointments requested by the fire chief. Nathan Reynolds is a probationary firefighter, and then Tyler Collins and Jim Hunt as regular firefighters. Okay, so is this a situation where um, uh, is this so, so I will acknowledge that I am on the fire department. Um, I believe I am of the understanding that I can participate in these appointments because they don't affect my financial status, um, which I've been advised by the ethics commission is when I should recuse myself if something will affect my financial status with the fire department. I don't believe that these appointments uh, are related to my financial status, so I do not need to recuse myself. Okay, and the Motion to approve Tyler Collins of uh, uh, for firefighter. Second. Uh, the second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, and then I make a motion to approve Tim Hunt uh, as a uh, Mari firefighter appointment. Take a second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Aye. Two. So that's two two of them. All right. Uh, welcome, all. Number five, Gould Farm has requested to put up a large temporary sign at the intersection of 23 and then at 57 and 183 advertising the Gould Farm 5K on September 26th. Uh, the sign will be 32 by 48 and it'll just be up until the end of the event on the 26th. Okay, um, I think that's, um, that's fine. Um, uh, so I would make a motion to approve um, the temporary uh, sign for for Blue Farm. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I, um, item number six. Um, um, we're going to uh, we're, again. I just remind the board um, that we're going to be not discussing any names. Um, um, however, um, there have been um, some. Um, 
employee issues and complaints. And um, uh, it seems to me that we have two options. Um, uh, one of which is to uh, engage a um, this is uh, engage a, uh, a human resource professional mm -hmm. um, to do uh, to do an investigation. Somebody who's a third party, not involved in Monterey, um, or um, or that we have um, or that we do this in executive session. Um, my feeling is that even though it's costlier, um, I think that it's, it would be better for all parties if we bring in a third party um, and, uh, and somebody who actually has has some um, professional experience. Uh, again, I, it's too bad that we didn't do, we didn't have an, an HR person in place already, but I think in the future we'll have that. And in this particular case, I, I wanted to treat it very seriously. Uh, and I'd like to get to the bottom of it, but I understand that we, we need to, as a board, we need to make that decision of which way to go. Do you have any input, Justin? Yeah, um, I don't think it dealing with disciplinary matters is an is an easy thing to do ever for anybody. Um, I also, I guess, my opinion is that I think this is something the board should investigate if for whatever reason in our investigation we feel that uh outside investigators outside investigator would be useful or be able to do something that we can't do as a board um i'd be open to maybe reconsidering but i think it is something that we have to do as a select board is deal with and manage employees and Given that we haven't even begun to investigate the complaint, I it's hard for me to believe that we should um, decide that we need an outside investigator. Um, I think we should try and investigate um, and manage the employees. And like I said, if we're in over our head or for whatever reason, and we we feel it would be helpful to bring in someone outside at that point. Uh, maybe that will happen, but I know it's not an easy part of being on the select board and you've done it vastly more than I've ever done it, but I just do think it is part of what we're tasked with doing as a select board is managing employees. Um, it will be nice, like you said, when we have HR and they can help us in these matters, but um, I also think it's one of those situations where Sometimes an expert can bring, you know, a certain view, but at the end of the day, in a lot of employee management situations, there's just going to be different. There's going to be different people with different perspectives, and someone at the end of the day is just going to got to consider them, and you know, consider the benefit of the doubt and consider, you know, all the every you know view of justice, and there's not, you know. It's always going to be a tough decision whether we have a, a outside investigator or we don't right it's always going to be a tough situation so and i don't think hiring someone makes it not a tough situation or even is more likely to make us make the right decision uh so that's just my opinion like i said if we start investigating it uh and we come to a point where we feel we're in over our heads and that a professional might be able to help us I'd definitely be willing to reconsider, but for the time being, I just think it's a tough thing, but a tough thing that we have to do as a select board. So. Stephen and Justin, have you explored whether the Massachusetts Office of Public Collaboration can be of assistance in providing a mediation service? And if not, perhaps the chair can contact that uh, organization, because I think they might help out. Um, I, this is the first time I'm hearing of that particular organization, Don. Um, uh, Melissa, have you heard of this organization? Only in Don's email that he sent earlier. Can't hear you, Melissa. She said she had heard about it in your earlier email, Don. 
That was the only time. Yes. Ever... So, so shouldn't somebody contact them? We can certainly do that. I, you know, I, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to uh, be, uh, I, I mean, I, I want to be prudent. I think we both want to be prudent over here. On the other hand, we don't want to keep on kicking the can down the road either because we want to, you know, we want to get a resolution. Um, um, uh, from, from my experience, I think, I think that we're probably uh, a little bit, uh, it, this is a little bit over our heads because there's a number of people involved. If it was just like one person versus another person, um, but it seems to be there's more than one person involved. So that's my con that's my concern, um, and you're right that um, different people have to bring different perspectives perspectives to the table. Um, but if we have a multitude of people, then you have a lot of perspectives. Uh, and uh, um, I can tell you that that it's 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 you know this, this, there's some you know there's there's going to be some passion over here, and we and we going to do this in executive session. Um, uh, I think it's going to be. I think it might be. It might get a little unwieldy pretty fast. So I, I'm just trying to, you know, I, believe me, I have no interest in the, that. We can explore this other option. That's that's the other consideration. What does that mean? Well, there will be legal ramifications if we. What is that? I'm confused as to as to what that means. Can't hear you, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. No, we cannot. We're not going to be able to see the point. Melissa said there could be legal ramifications if the board tries to investigate the complaint in executive session. Um. Also, I I just wanted to. I don't know what the complaint's about, but I just wanted to give you the heads up that if it, if it comes under the Title IX rules, that is a morass legally. Um, and having someone that's fully versed in navigating Title IX harassment rules, I would urge you to make sure that you have someone that fits that bill because um, it's complicated and unwieldy, and it's easy to get yourself into a lot of hot water. But I have no idea what the complaint's about, nor do I, should I at this point. I just wanted to throw that out there to be aware that harassment complaints legally are very tricky to navigate. Um, my, my professional recommendation, Justin, mm -hmm. is that we, we go the uh, professional route um, to avoid to 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 avoid any kind of exposure for this town, um, and that's um, and I think it's one thing that well you know the boards the boards we have many different duties we are, we have we have to we want to take care of this issue we want to take care of it correctly um, we want to make sure that all the parties involved are satisfied um, but um, but we also want to you know. Uh, keep the exposure down. You can see how sometimes people can be, um, I mean, very easy to, to for something to, to spin out of control or turn into a lawsuit. So um, what I would recommend is the following is, is we would, we would uh, make, we would do some research on this, on this, uh, this idea that Don has and see if they, if, if they can uh, do it or, um, and if they can't, then I would recommend that we that we that we bring in that we bring in a third party uh, professional and, and have and have them work on it so that we don't get in trouble. Again, it's if it was just one person versus another person, I think you know we could talk about it. But it seems to be multiple folks, and so it's it's uh, it's going to get it's going to get complicated real fast. And I don't personally have the human resource experience, even though I have sat on the, the board for a while. Um, I, I'm assuming you don't either, and I don't think Mr. Weingold does. And so, you know, we're, you know, um, uh, I think this one bears some professional guidance. My understanding was that one of the functions of the select board is to 
manage town employees. And if I'm opening up the town or myself to a lawsuit by doing that, I mean, like you said, people can sue for whatever they want. Um, but if we're if we do it appropriately and by the book, and we get sued, we have nothing to worry about. I mean, they don't they don't have the answers to everything either. I mean, at the end of the day, like we said, everyone's going to have their different perspective, and someone or some group of people is going to have to sift through. And I don't know what this outside investigator is going to tell us that we can't investigate on our own. Like I said, if we get into it, and it's but if if I am opening up myself for the town to a lawsuit by simply managing employees, which I think is one of the functions of the select board, then then so be it. Do we do we or do we not manage the town employees? We appoint them. We have you know the ability to give them raise or fire them or any number of things to manage them to oversee them. That's our job. Issues that that may include um, uh, items that are the you know that that, that are not just um, common employee items, which it seems like this might be. Yep. The problem is this is not something that comes within executive session, so you'd have to do this in public, yep. and mediating in public mediating. The problem in public uh, is absurd. So either you hire somebody outside to do it, or you designate one of yourselves to do it. But you can't do it as a select board. That is that is a disaster. Well, I'm trying to avoid a disaster. <laughs> I know we're not mentioning names, but which two selectmen? <laughs> wow. I mean, this is all just all just new news to me. I mean, so this is this is a real sticky situation. I mean, I mean this is not you know again, this is a sticky situation. We have to do this right. As far as I'm concerned, from what I witnessed, Steve was part of it. So, and John was not anywhere to be found. So I'm just at a loss for words. He was on the phone. I'm really at a loss for words. So I don't, I, uh, yeah, because I've never, the, I mean, I'm going to be, we're going to be sued for managing our employees and I mean, and so all we're trying to do is, is to keep the, the voice in school, make it, you know, be part of this uh, investigation and, and, and have a discussion about it. Um, so this is terrible. You know, Susan, can you hear that? Really? Because I can't hear. We can't hear you, folks. We got to do something. We can, about we can that. typically hear Justin. I can intermittently hear Steve, and I can virtually. I can only hear Melissa when she gets up and talks directly in the mic. It's oh, it's sorry about that. We're work, a little bit better than this one. We're gonna work. We're gonna work. We'll try to work it a little bit better. Um, All right. Well, listen. Uh, uh, we can. I mean, we can. Uh... Um, are you going to run it, like Justin? If Steve was involved in the original difficulty, that leaves you and he probably can't be involved I'm, in it. So how that. would you how would you navigate it? And I'm not opposed to. I totally see your point. I'm just trying to. I don't know enough to have much to offer except to say how will you navigate this 
I have no, I have no clue. Yeah. Because, because so I'm just being told things that so confuse me, so confuse me. Yeah. I, I think the only, the only advice I can offer besides what Don suggested, and I don't know anything about that organization, is to say that, yeah. Um, employees are under the jurisdiction of the select board but that's sort of the i think that's also part of the normal day-to-day -day operations and i think there are there are difficulties with um employee review under the open meeting law that make it very awkward um so it's it's a hard thing to navigate, but I, I understand why Steve is reticent to do it, especially if if he was present at the initial problem. And like I said, I, I don't have enough information to, to give much of an opinion, just that it strikes me that it's it's a difficult situation. I don't think we're just talking about difficult from the standpoint of litigation, which it certainly could be, but also the difficulty of coming to some type of resolution. Again, I don't know enough about the problem to really say, but that's something to consider. I mean, you don't want to outsource everything, but it sounds like we're talking about outsourcing one thing. Um, and if you're at that much of a point where you're not sure how to proceed, maybe that tells you right there that it this might be the one thing to outsource. I, I, and I again, I don't know. I don't have the details the vote, of this situation. Itself, I'm just responding to what I hear. Right. The vote, the vote itself may be tainted to a certain degree, since uh, apparently we're, you know, uh, someone involved. So I'm, I'm very concerned. Thank you. Thank you. Um, John saw his hand up. Nancy has her oh, hand. I'd sorry. be willing to hear what they have to say. Sure. Uh, I don't know who had their hand up first. Don. Don. Um, may I speak? I have my hand up. Yeah. I put, uh, Don, Nancy Tomasovic. Don first, if he wants to speak. Don has hand up first. Nancy, sorry. I. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know, number one, uh, I'll offer you my services for free to work on this to mediate, to see if this can be mediated, if you would like. But number two, you, you have to decide, number, is this something that can be done by the board? Yeah. And do in public I'd I would be calling an executive session in order to do it um, Don do what they say breaking see up. if they can help um, makes sense to me <clears throat> anyway. go ahead Nancy all right Nancy go ahead Nancy uh Okay, hi, thanks, Steve. Hi, Justin, hi, everybody. Um, absolutely, this should be done in an executive session. And if Steve feels that he's compromised with whatever complaints were there, he should recuse himself. Number two, anybody can sue you at any time for anything as they feel fit. Hiring, hiring an outside consultant, if that is something that the select board who has purview over everyone who works for the town board sees fit, they can make a motion to vote on that. However, who does this person report to? Only the select board? And would they be part of the executive session? And in fact, if the select board members feel that they want to do something, they can make a motion and they can vote on it and implement it. And anybody who wants to sue the town can sue the town for whatever reason they feel they see fit. Okay, good. Point, point made. So, Justin, do what you feel is right in your gut. Because you are on this board to protect the townspeople, and it's a big responsibility. And 
you as a select board member have the wherewithal to take care of it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So um, what I would say is let's first investigate, before we decide, let's, let's investigate this, this, um, uh, this avenue that Don mentioned. Does that sound prudent? Yeah, we yeah. can informally look into what that would entail. Okay. And kick, kick the can down the road. No, uh, I'm, 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 I, this is the first I'm hearing of this of this other agency. So yeah. it's not a, it's I not, know, it's, it's nothing, it's not you, it's just a bummer. May I ask who proposed this other agency? That would be Don Coburn brought it up. Oh, okay. And he's not compromised in any way in his thought processes, is he? Okay. So, uh, um, listen, we're all trying to do what's best for the for the town, and I can understand that there's not a just not a straight, straight path over here. Um, I, I need to get some more information on this on this uh, uh, on the on the thing that Don. That that uh that Don has brought to our attention. Uh, <laughs> what? Hello. What? Propose that agency because it's listed in the Collins report. I can't hear Don. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. You're breaking up. We use for this purpose. Uh, you're breaking up. All right, so listen. Um, yes, what's your recommendation? In the Collins report. Yeah, it was a recommendation in the Collins report. Gotcha. Was for this organization. Yeah. All right. So let's get some information on it. We will we will get a we we'll get a full report on it. Um, Melissa will will uh, uh, supply that information to the board members, and they will be they will show up at our, at our next board meeting to make a decision. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Uh, approve the uh, minutes of eight four. Okay. So I've got no problem. Um, I, I I read uh, Justin. You you made some. Um, some changes. The only um, the only change the only change that that I would um, want to to retain is that um, uh, is this it could and it's actually particularly uh, uh, timely because of what we're talking about right now. The discussion where Hillel um, asked the clerk who the clerk reports to, and I clarify that she's an town employee as we've been talking to, but she reports to the select board for hiring. But it's supervised by the town administrator. I mean, that is the case. But I don't want to. I didn't like that because what? we still always the select board approves the clerk hours. So I'm not okay. sure what Halal is getting at. But no, the he's asking is who she reports to, not the hours. Halal commented that the hierarchy is being circumvented. No, 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 no. That that um, that I'm I want to take yeah. out. That I'm happy yeah. taking out. I'm only. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Truth, yeah leave that. No, it's just yeah. it, no, no, not this. This we can take out. This, this yeah. hierarchy business uh, we can take out. But no, it's these lines above it. These yes. two lines before it. Hillel, the town administrator. Uh, yes, that um, uncomfortable. Yeah, it's good to see that in there. Okay, so, good. And then so we're gonna, the only other amendment I would have, and I don't have a copy of it. Sure. Um, it's At the end of item 18, um, add Steve motioned to include initials on the private agendas for select board eyes only and omit 
initials on the publicly posted agenda. John seconded the motion. It was approved unanimously. That's all. Okay. I got a problem. Was that on there? No, it was uh, all agreed to the proposed solution, but Steve made a motion and it was unanimously approved. I, okay. vote. I re watched the video to get that. Okay. So. so, here, put your initials on there. Corner and move on. Okay, so the next, the next item, number eight, is fire department lease renewal. Um, I, so I would recuse myself and yeah. Okay, so um, well, there's there's then there's no quorum to um, to to approve that uh, for fire department lease renewal uh, unless you have a proxy, which I don't think you do. So we'll have to bring that back up on the next um, at the next select board meeting. Um, Recap of the second homeowners meeting. Um, actually, um, uh, Justin and I were there. Um, John Weingold was not there. Um, I didn't receive any emails from him that he wasn't making it, did you? No, okay. Um, it was attended by approximately 10 people, maybe more. 10, 15 well, people, 10, 15 yeah, people. Couple, there were two couples. Okay. There were, um, and um, uh, on various topics that that the that the select board had had put on the agenda for the um, um, for the second home second homeowners meeting, um, we uh, we gave them updates on um, on various uh, projects in town, and uh, uh, there was a discussion about uh, there seemed to be some concerns about people. Exceeding the speed, uh, uh, speeding um, uh, or boating recklessly in Great in Lake Garfield. Um, uh, it was um, it, uh, uh, and Justin, jump in if if, if I if I mischaracterize any of this. Um, it seemed to me that that um, the um, consensus was if we had some more information out there to um, to people who are on Lake Garfield, but to everybody. About what is expected of them when they're in when they're using Lake Garfield, um, that it would be better, uh, which would include the Monterey News, um, but it would also it also may include uh, mailings to new homeowners or or to people that have, have lake uh, have lake access. Um, one of the things that I didn't know about uh, personally that uh, um, was that uh, I didn't realize that bathers uh, that people who are swimming in the lake should be wearing reflective um, uh, swim caps so that the boaters can see them. I didn't realize that that was a, um, a requirement. Um, and uh, so um, uh, so there you go, lesson learned. Um, other than that, um, I, um, uh, you know, there were general discussions about other things that are going on in town, but nothing specific. Um, uh, I don't know, is there anything to add? Well, we talked about considering potentially putting the Lake Garfield tax district back on the warrant. There was there there was opposing views as to whether or not that should be reconsidered. Um, and I like personally for the boating, I like the idea of sending out a letter maybe in the spring that Mike Jermaine brought up. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a good idea. Because um, he was I out on the lake all the time and he was telling me rules i didn't know and uh so the awareness you know might just help and they're not rules monterey made up their state rules but like you said the awareness might help. yeah well, I, by the way i did i did inform them that if, if you do have a recourse if they find somebody who's voting recklessly um boats have registration numbers you can provide them and actually i i have had occasion to talk to the chief um and um uh, and he and he said yes, absolutely. Send him uh, if you if you know somebody who's voting recklessly, 
send him um, the registration number uh, and he'll he will investigate uh, that. So just like he'll, you know, that's part of his job. So I, I thought it was very successful. It's, uh, it's a shame not all the select board members were there, um, uh, but I, I think I'm glad that we had it. Um, it lasted two hours and 40 minutes. So that's, that's a lot of time. Uh, so, uh, uh, which, oh, I'm sorry, Don, do you have a hand up? Don, do you have a hand up? No, it no? Was okay. It was a mistake. Uh, uh, no, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Excellent. No problem. No problem. Um, which leads me to, um, uh, the number 10 select board duties. Uh, the most important duty of a select board member is to show up. I mean, that's, that should be, if I had to put, make a rule book, that's number one, you gotta show up. Um, not only because of the information that we give to people, but the information we get from people. Um, as you, you just heard that you and I just learned, we learned a few new things at this, at this second homeowner meeting. Um, so it was, you know, it was a positive experience. So I, I, uh, uh, I'll have to ask John, um, what, what, why did, why he didn't show up? Um, okay. Uh, finance committee issues. Uh, this, I, I don't know what this is. This is a, um, I don't know. I, I did not, did you attend the finance committee meeting last night? No, I did not. Okay. I didn't, I didn't either. I meant to, but I, I was, yeah. There were no issues. Okay, good. And the minutes that they were they were that they were putting in there, I saw where two of them were from April, missing minutes from April. Okay. Um, good. Okay. Um, uh, number twelve. Uh, uh, discuss owl camera for remote meetings. Um, I, I think this is a bigger issue. Uh, I think we need to discuss better equipment um, for these meetings. Seems that we're going to be heading into a fourth perhaps a fourth uh, wave of COVID. So, um, so we're going to be doing these, these, uh, these remote meetings. Uh, um, and we need to, we need to have better equipment. Um, so it's not just a camera. I, I think what I'd like to do is have the town administrator price out. Uh, well, the first step is pricing out the equipment that we would need. The second, and then the second step is to figuring out how to pay for it. Mm -hmm. because these items were not raised and appropriated at town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so um, that's, that's, a, um, that's a challenge in this type of uh, uh, democracy. So it, Justin, do you think that's okay? Would you, yeah, you, I um, think owl camera, speakers, whatever. Obviously we had some little so difficulties, but that's always gonna happen no matter what. Right. But anything but, we can do because it, yeah, but also a mo also maybe a monitor that's bigger than a, the size of a phone book. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like whatever. This. Let's look into it and consider it. Okay. Solutions. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get some numbers together and we'll have a discussion about that. Um, review mail um, and uh, correspondence to be. So, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to do parking for that event, and they're going to pay me, supposedly. So, I think I should recuse myself from that special application. So, the, the problem is here is that is that their 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 event happens on the 27th. And yeah. They're not going to be having any more select board meetings um, prior to that. Well, I can't, I can't change the facts that they're going to pay me to work at that event and whether or not the event happens hinges on, you know, if I make the money of working there or not. So I, that's just, it is what it is. But. Uh, 
I mean, some there's some ones that are really hard, but for me, in this instance, like I, if this event happens, I will be paid to work at it. And look, I think I could be impartial, but someone may see me working at it and know that I approved their alcohol permit, and I just think it's better to be transparent and be open about it and uh, the conflict. Fine. Yeah, I mean, we have, that okay with, that okay it's on the 27th, so Sorry. we have nine days between that. I mean, we've got to be able to come up with some meeting where we can, where, where uh, Steve and John can consider. What's the, the what the event is? Because we couldn't hear you. The 27th. What, what is the event? The Bidwell House Gala. Okay. Um, uh, perhaps um, can uh, we reach out to um, to John to come into town hall if I sign it? Um, uh, and uh, uh, well, let's put it on the agenda for tomorrow. Okay? I think that's. And if, if let's start with reason, that. If for some reason he doesn't show up tomorrow, then um, um, uh, uh, I I am going to go ahead and sign it um, so that uh, hopefully somebody else will come in and sign it. Um, um which is another reason why it's important to show up at these meetings um okay so uh and this the, i i'm going to table the review of the select board rules policies and procedures draft because Second. um we're not here um any um comments uh, or questions from the public Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I just don't want to accuse that I asked a question that nobody can hear me. Um, it would be a perfect time to place to click. There being no um, questions or comments from the public, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. We're going to get better at this at some point.